uh, to talk about homogeneous catalysts, you have to remember it, it is in the same phase as the reactants. So if the reactants are gases, your catalyst should also be gas in order to be homogeneous. Uh, it will combine with reactants to form either activated complex or intermediate. Now, uh, activated complex, you should remember, are always at the highest energy. They are a mutation between reactant and product. The bonds are neither uh, broken completely or formed completely. So if I have a reaction of A plus B to give me a product AB, without a catalyst, this is your activation energy extremely large and extremely slow so it comes up here this is my activated complex sometimes you put it in a bracket the bonds are almost being formed between a and b and then if they come down here as a b that's your products now if i introduce a catalyst in red i have put my catalyst as k capital in red then it comes up and here i'm showing you two elementary steps the first steps produce a sort of activated complex. The catalyst is trying to make bonds with A, then comes down here, an intermediate is formed, then it goes up, and the bonds between K and A is almost broken, and A and B is formed. So this is the catalyst version of it, so, and this is my mechanism. If you see the step, first step is producing Ka, the second step, I'm consuming it, that's definition of intermediate. You produce it in one step and you use it up in the next step. And the difference between catalysts is you start with, so K, if I add all the reactions, overall reaction is plus A plus B gives you the product and also the catalyst is separated and now you retrieve it, you recycle it and you reuse it. But sometimes they get destroyed in process of separation. Uh, one example that you should recall is uh, the catalyst involved in esterification. Remember, we have an alcohol. Uh, so alcohol plus a carboxylic acid goes through an equilibrium reaction. And sulfuric acid, shown sometimes as H+, plus, aqueous. Now, alcohol is the liquid phase, carboxylic is liquid phase, and sulfuric acid aqueous is liquid phase, therefore it's homogeneous catalyst. On the other side, it will produce an ester plus water. Uh, now, homogeneous catalysts uh, work under mild conditions. If you remember, your esterification is approximately about 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. And definitely it has a good selectivity to produce ester. Also it's good because it's dehydrating agent, removes H2O, so equilibrium is shifted to the right. But uh, uh, when you try to remove this uh, sulfuric acid from the product, we usually do distillation and sometimes we denature the sulfuric acid. One other note you should remember is uh, transition metals are great homogeneous catalysts as well because they have variable oxidation states. So they can lose and gain electrons and get involved in the process. They also form complex ions, if you remember. So the variable oxidation state and formation of complex ions make transition metals great homogeneous catalysts. One more time, homogeneous should be in the same phase as the reactants.